we do things unconstitutional, they have an unintended consequence. So what is our solution? To further undermine the Constitution. The lines should be drawn in the sand. That's what's happening now with the states declaring sovereignty, the people waking up. We're in the process of being reasonable, saying, look, Madoff people are stealing everything. You've taken yep. the pension funds and given them to derivatives. The government stole the government pension funds. Boston Globe today, uh, look, you're criminals. You need to stop. You need to stop. When the people are up against unjust and uncivil government and laws, and they are entitled to reform, as we are, uh, they'll get it only if they follow a three-part formula. He said, if you're missing any one of the three parts, you're going to fail. You need to be proactive, nonviolent, and you need a mass movement. You need a critical mass. Proactive, nonviolent, mass movement. And so we've exhausted this foundation with the assistance of tens of thousands of people across the country for 10 years. We have established a solid record of uh, petitioning, you know, identifying with facts these violations of all of these provisions of the Constitution, whether it's the war powers clauses, the money clauses, the tax clauses, the privacy clauses, and, and, and so forth. We have uh, laid out, with the assistance of constitutional scholars like Ed Vieira and Walker Todd and others, we've documented these violations, and we have petitioned the government under the First Amendment, last ten words, the petition clause, the accountability clause. The, the founders put those ten words there, uh, knowing that this day would come, knowing that people in government will have a natural tendency to step outside the boundaries that we, the people, have drawn around their power. And so they have given us, right there in the document, the last ten words of the accountability clause, the right to petition for redress of grievances, and under those last, the meaning of those last ten words is if we have some evidence that government has violated the Constitution, we can call them on it. We can petition for a remedy. They are obligated to respond. If they do not respond, then we have a government that, in effect, has, has turned its back on the Constitution. We've called them on it the servant government, they refuse to respond, then we have the right to withdraw our money and our resources and our support from that government. But of course, as individuals in small groups, you know, you can't prevail. So we need a mass movement. The solution here is to have a continental Congress, as they did. They, they decided, all right, look, we're going to get together in Philadelphia. We're going to talk about these grievances and settle on some course of action. The Constitution does, as you know, it doesn't defend itself. It just lies on your desk. The government isn't going to defend it. The, the Constitution's going to be defended only if the people defend it. This quit appropriating funds in an unconstitutional manner. It's quit bankrupting this country. This quit destroying our, our dollar. There will be a Continental Congress again this year. A lot of work to be done there. We have all of these violations of the Constitution that are escalating. We have a rogue government. People need to get together and talk about that. Right now at Jekyll Island, it's to demonstrate that there's a coalition building in America, a coalition of all of our liberty, freedom-oriented, constitution-based organizations are beginning to come together, recognizing that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. We're going to honor America. We're going to honor the Constitution. With God's help, we're going to do well.